Now, eliminating the black vote was only one part of this whole system that, as I say, we call the Jim Crow system. Another part was the rise of racial segregation by law. Everyone knows about segregation. We have heard of segregation. The, the point I want to make is segregation is not primarily a system of separation. When you think of segregation, you think of separate entrances, black and white, separate water fountains, you know, not being, et cetera. That, yes, it's a system of separation, but it's primarily a system of domination, of supremacy, of one group dominating over another. It's, a, it's part of a complex of economic, political, social, ideological components maintained by the dominant group via its monopoly of political power. Once you have a monopoly of political power, you can implement any kind of social legislation you want. Um, what were some of the other elements of this system? One was the decimation of black education. Now remember, in Reconstruction, as I said, you'd primarily had black schools and white schools, public education, but they had been funded equally by the state. But after Reconstruction, all the money goes into, um, into the white schools and black ones are, you know, you know kind of get uh, almost no state funding. Um, the convict lease system, the arrest of large numbers of people, most of them black, and the, the, the state prison system becomes a source of profit for state governments by the leasing out of convicts. Convicts are leased out to work in mines, to work on plantations, sometimes to break strikes of free workers. Um, and since very few whites were put in jail, uh, for any lengthy period of time, most convicts, are, most uh, the convict leases are people who's in there for a lengthy period of time, it was it became a form of involuntary labor, increasingly for black um, black people. And then, of course, the rise of and here I will go to our. I didn't want to make this the main picture up there because it's too shocking. But the rise of lynching. Here is a picture of a lynching of a black person in. Where was it? I can't remember. I think Texas. Um, okay. Um, lynching, extra legal, extra legal violence, murder, etc. cetera. Um, between 1890 and 1940, that is 50 years, there were an estimated 4,000 lynchings in the United States. Almost all of them in the South. There were a few elsewhere. And almost all of them black. Uh, oddly, the largest the largest group lynching in this period was 11 Italian immigrants lynched in New Orleans in 1891, accused of something. I don't remember what they were accused of. The Italian consul, the, the representative of Italy in New Orleans, protested to the governor of Louisiana about this. And the governor replied, look, if immigrants come to the United States, they have to face the same dangers as native-born Americans do. If you're in the United States, you may get lynched. That's just part of what the, the American way. But the vast majority were African Americans. Of all kinds, they were, of course, they would all be accused of crimes, often rape, which usually were not real, uh, you know, were not legitimate charges people who just stepped out of line in one way or another, people who challenged the white supremacy system, people who uh, or try to organize politically, people who ch uh, contested uh, contract uh, uh, arrangements at the end of the year. What this picture shows us, this picture of the lynching, is these lynchings were not carried on in secret, in the dark. This is a community affair. Thousands of people would attend a lynching. They would be advertised in advance. In one famous lynching, a, a tra special trains were put on to bring people to witness this extra legal murder, is what it is, obviously. Uh, this, if you look on the top, you see a black man about to be hanged in front of a giant mob. This is not public, this is not the state executing someone after they've been convicted of a crime. This is an extra legal murder. People would bring children to see this. A few years ago, the New York Historical Society had a, some, somebody had collected 
images, pictures, photographs of lynchings, and they had this exhibit of all, the, it was horrifying actually, but also really makes you wonder about the, you know, the, the, the sort of moral compass of people who would bring children to witness a lynching and then take photographs and send postcards of them around to say, look where, where I was. But this was sort of the outer edge of the, of the system, the final way of policing the uh, Jim Crow system. 